Ayala Land and its partner, the Mercado Medical Group, just opened a Qualimed Hospital in Bulacan. Qualimed says the 105-bed facility is just the beginning. President and CEO Edwin Mercado gave Christina Lazo a glimpse into the company's 2020 vision. We're looking at putting up 10 hospital facilities by 2020 in various stages of uh, our rollout. Some will be fully operational, some will be on the drawing board and some will be on the feasibility study stage. Mm -hmm. And we're also looking at putting up 10 multi-specialty centers or clinics in uh, Ayala Land Malls or freestanding within uh, business, uh, central business districts, uh, which are also in Ayala Land developments. Okay, so I would just like to know how much is the investment for a hospital and for a clinic? As we go on, we are trying, we, are be, we, we become more efficient in terms of each hospital, but the average cost for each hospital is about uh, 400 to 430 million, excluding the physical structure, which is the base building and the land, which we lease out from Ayala Land or its uh, estate company. Uh, the 400 to 430 uh, constitutes the cost of fit outs uh, and also the cost of equipment and also the working cap. Would it make sense for Qualimed to acquire existing hospitals to boost your, uh, basically your expansion? Well, there are pros and cons which we really looked into. Mm -hmm. uh, the good thing with the startup is it's, it's more sustainable in terms of its uh, ramp up and future growth mm -hmm. uh, because uh, acquisition would entail, of course, realignment of the whole culture and also a lot of legacy issues. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we're, we're opportunistic. If it will add value to the whole system, then definitely we're also on the lookout for acquisition. But right now in the drawing board are uh, mostly greenfield hospitals in Ayala Land developments. Will there be a need to raise funds to uh, support your uh, expansion? Right now, uh, we are very under leveraged, so the banks, the access to capital is not that difficult. We also have a shareholder agreement in terms of the infusion that we are looking at to fund at least the first three, four hospitals mm -hmm. until uh, this year. Finally, incoming President uh, Rodrigo Duterte is pushing for economic uh, adv advancement, particularly in Mindanao. Do you see Qualimed setting up shop there? Uh, definitely. Uh, we have been offered uh, previously, even before the election of the uh, incoming president, potential uh, presence in Cagayan de Oro and Davao. Maybe we will put it in the front burner for now. And what is your timeline for that? Uh, if it's a 100-bed hospital, from planning to execution, probably two to three years. Two to three years. Okay. And for the clinics? For clinics, that's a, a shorter ramp up. Uh, we are, uh, have obviously the Abrisa Mall in Davao, where we're also seriously looking at putting up a presence. And that's it for us today. Up next, First of Continues from Hong Kong.